Good afternoon folks, this is Florence Grace Maloney Me Prendergast and today is Friday, um, I'm going to make my, put myself over here, yeah today is Friday the 7th of May um, and I just want to deal with one small subject and it's called let's put more light on the matter now what could that be have you ever noticed um when you're actually needing to see something it isn't until you put light to it that you can see it um this is from a blog write-up i did tuesday the 5th of march 2019 and i shall read it to you um in let's do it from the calendar um, right. so this is what i say um hi and welcome to this mini write-up link to write up at the end and but i looked at it again today this time last month i just happened to do a radio recording uh, so this is in 2019 remember this is before where are we yeah, this is before the pandemic pandemic of um, March 2020. I aim to share with you the topics I recorded which caught my attention. This was followed by many novice research and scientific reports in the paper, the scientific method, and lastly, a cry for opinion allied with careful research. You can see me all right, that's good. So Tuesday 5th of Feb 2019 radio recording. The first was... I did one of five, but just specific to this, I'm just going to give you one to four. A nagging sore throat. I heard the professor leading the study state the story was hyped. You could go to my link to get to my face, the link at the bottom, which will give you the full write up and the link to that story. The second was two of five. Life Scientific, a comment by physicist Jim Al-Khalili, he is unapologetic towards pseudoscience where it may be said quantum mechanics explains telepathy, homeopathy and that just because quantum mechanics is mysterious you can't use it to justify any strange theory you want. He later went on to say where politics, music, sports and arts is in everyday conversation, he's looking forward to science being a part of everyday conversation as well. I popped to my local library and saw an article, this is 305, in the New Scientist, November 2018 uh, issue. This is Flo, Malo, Flo Maloney hyphen Prendergast Facebook. You can get this full write up at the bottom. Thank you for standing by for that station identification. Three or five, the new scientist, November 2018 issue. The problem with Gabby headlines, Tom Shivers stated, the way in which a statistic is presented can change how alarming it sounds that too often both newspapers and scientific journals choose the most alarming and least informative approach. This is an investigative journalist saying this, yeah? Okay, then I picked up a book entitled 100 Ideas That Changed the World by Janine Osman. This is four or five, and this is the last one. I'm not going to give you the five, number five because it's not relevant to this. On the subject heading, the scientific method. Now, this is key, seeking the truth. The formulation of a hypothesis followed by an experiment to test the hypothesis in brackets. It addresses the fact in one test a belief can be refuted, page 24 of that book. The scientific method relies on open and free communication, that secrecy has no place in science, that true science thrives best in glass houses where everyone can look in when the windows are blacked out as in war, the weeds take over. So I hope you will now galvanize yourself to allow the scientific method to take a new approach as 
Jim, Professor Jim Alkalili encouraged that we ask questions and that he hopes that science be every part of everyday conversa conversation like football and theatre. So let's have an open conversation and apply these principles. This is Florence Grace Maloney Nee Prendergast and today is Friday the 7th of May 2021. Thank you for looking. Mm-hmm.